welcome back to Super Mid Tier. So, the game plan today is we're gonna go relieve some of our stress. We got some potions ready to send one of the adventurers out to the Arctic. Um, and I got some potions brewing so that tomorrow I can send one of them to the the Dragon Oasis. So, but because these uh, newer adventures take longer, probably can only send one out to, or uh, I can't send all of them out, I guess I should say. The other thing we want to do is, um, what was it? it goes, ah, right, right, right. So we got to go talk to Roxanne and hope she has the good smell trait available so I can fulfill that custom order. If not, I might just have to let this one go. I do still have these as well, but I got one more day for that, so I'm not too worried about it. But probably, like I said, probably not going to actually open, open the shop today. So first, we're going to rank up with Mint, then we're going to hang out with her to reduce stress. Uh, yeah, rank up. I feel like, like, um, some of Mint's cards are pretty good, but I don't know, they're, they don't seem like they're the best. They seem like kind of, her whole thing is, her cards are fairly simple and effective but maybe not the best they're not like you know s and a tier they're probably like b tier i'm guessing i'm not you know i'm not like hardcore analyzing the effectiveness of every card all right i'm glad you had some time to hang out today i've had something on my mind actually that kind of reminds me um while i like deck builders and card games i kind of dislike the sort of meta game that surrounds them i always like games that let you play a wide variety of different strategies and that's one of the things i like about this game is that each character seems to have a different strategy associated with their cards and it kind of does make me want to maybe possibly do future playthroughs where i focus more on another character like so far based i only have one of course x cards but it seems like a really cool one i like it i kind of like his it seems like he has a lot of stance based stuff which seems really interesting yeah, that's, that's just all that to say that I, I generally like games that let me play a wide variety of different play styles in terms of cards and things like that. I don't really care so much about what's the most effective one. I'm like, let's try this strategy today. Let's try this strategy today. I like to kind of change it up. It's important to me we talk about it away from the guild hall. The walls there have ears. Only some of which are stuffed and mounted. Is this the date? <laughs> Sylvia, I promise. When it's a date, you'll know. <laughs> It'll all be someplace a little nicer than this. I just figured we could talk, and... I'm weirdly nervous about it. I'm probably overthinking it, though. Sometimes the best strategy is to have no strategy at all. And I do my best work when I keep it simple. Keep it simple. Raise interest by nine. Discard two random cards. If opener, discard only one card. Uh, I mean, that could be really good near, like, once you've kind of cleared out most of your hand. Life is complicated enough. You should know you don't need to be nervous around me. In that case, here's the thing. I'm just going to come right out and say it. I like you. I like you from the start. I figured right away we'd be good friends. I didn't give it much more thought than that. I'm so focused on finding my place in the guild. Honestly, romance is the last thing I'm looking for. But as any dungeon delver will tell you, sometimes you find something great, whether you're looking for it or not. And I'm thinking, maybe I found something great with you. Oh, this is it! You're about to enter a romantic relationship with Mint. Doing so will permanently block romance options from other characters. <gasps> I mean, yeah, I've pretty much been focusing on Mint this playthrough. So, heck yes! If you're looking for romance, then look no further. You're not teasing me? Sylvia, this is incredible. I feel like I just slayed a dragon. Or even better, like I de-escalated a conflict with a dragon through active listening and mutual beneficial dialogue. <laughs> Am I the dragon in that analogy? The dragon is my insecurity. <laughs> I put on a brave face, but I guess I was afraid. Afraid you didn't feel the same way. How could I feel any other way? You're amazing. You know something, when you say it, I believe it. I mean, they do make a cute couple. All right, now let's hang out. Fan fiction. 
I am kind of intrigued on that. If I get a lot of stress later, I'll try it. But we're just going to stick with inventory management. We don't need that much stress relief. Mint smiles bashfully as she empties her rucksack onto the table. There are teeth and tails, whips and boomerangs, a crystal-topped rod, various footwear TRs, and a sour-looking fairy in a bottle. And a bouquet of flowers. Brand to about to go with a bright red bow. Surprise! They don't have any use in potions. But I thought you'd like something pretty to look at. It's only fair since I get to look at you. Smooth, Mint. So smooth. Smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Sylvia feels a fair amount closer to Mint and moderately less stressed. Okay. So all the potions I, I set should be good now. And we're down to... Yeah, we're I, that's my goal. is like be under 10%. Alright. Alright, Mint. I hope you brought a scarf because you're going to the Arctic. So we need... Drink six more. Drink five more. So we'll use one of these. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Ice tonic. Might have to make that too. Okay, so we need our silence cure and our drowsiness cure. Needs. Uh. Oh, we only need grand. Well. Oh, I thought it was superior. Well, dang. I could have... I could sell this one instead, but I think I do have a grant. There you go. So we've got that taken care of. We do need some more health. I don't know. Gonna need a lot of mana. Uh... Additional loot. That will come in handy. Um, insight? Rare ingredients. That'd be good. But this is a really pricey a tonic. I don't know if I... I might just want to save it. Let's take six time. Uh, right, let's test. See if we don't need more mana. I think we need more mana, actually. More health, too. No, health's good. Do need more mana. Alright, so let's just put on a small one. So, four. Basically, we only need five. Yeah, we'll just throw a small one on there. There we go. little overkill for some of these potions, but it'll work. Oh, and she'll get a level up. I also just like how there's a potion that lets you drink more potions. Like, that doesn't really make sense, but it kind of fits with the, the style of this game, I think. Alright, go get a mint. Uh, let's check in with Baptiste. Get our new stuff. Don't have any of these yet. Uh, not very high in magmins, but it has some useful traits. And I'm pretty sure I already have that one, so I'll just do one. Um, yeah. Uh, oh right, Roxanne. Before I forget. Yeah, it should be aroma. Let me just double check before I. No, I don't have. I can't look up my. I am like ninety percent sure it's aroma. So we'll just. <clears throat> it's a lot of money for. Um. What do we want to do now? We got some cash to spend, so let's get a big chest this time. And there's a bunch of ingredients that are also 
uh, cheaper today. Ocean walls? Ocean coast walls. Oh, and of course, some of these are... That's uh, one of the ingredients I just said. Baptiste on. Um... I don't think I'm actually going to open the shop. I might throw some potions in the vending machine just to take advantage of the bonus good traits. Yeah, not not today. I probably should be planning using Luna's. That's the other like I'm not really using Luna very much, and part of it just because it seems kind of random. Um, well, before I start buying additional cauldron, so either one of these just gives me an additional cauldron. Two of those, so I think it was one I just got from Batiste, not one of the ones I. Either way, I get an extra, so it's all good. Um, get some of these because they're good. They're good traits, low magamin. So if I'm not, I'm doing a potion that. Not using the B ones, it's good to throw in there without kind of throwing the rest of the thing off. A lot of these potions, I've just kind of simply outgrown the use for, unless I'm deliberately going for a low level one. I might buy a couple. Just on the off chance, I do need to make, like, a lower level potion. And they're cheaper. Um... This is still like my highest single, uh, single magman red. So I've been using it for gardening mostly, but I'll get a few more just so I don't have to garden quite as many of them. Positive traits are always good. I don't really need more. I've been using these a lot lately. I might have to start gardening them. <clears throat> these seem pretty good. These are really good. This is my the one that has the highest red or um, the A Magamins. Ectoplasm. I don't have any of those, so I'll might as well buy some. These are really good. These are the main ones I'm I might as well buy them still, why they're since they're cheap. But those are like my main go-to's for the the green magmas. Good traits. Uh, just so I have a few on hand. Mana Blaze. Only use one. Might just garden that one. Okay. Um. So. So I did expand to have an extra cauldron, but do I want to buy another one right now? I could just use one of my old ones for the time being to make like 
lower level ones. Arctic Cauldron, 1,400 Celestial Cauldron. Dragon Cauldron. So I have a Dragon Cauldron, Crater Cauldron. You know what? Sure, I'll buy Arctic Cauldron. Um, that's about it for now. Head back to the shop, craft some more potions. Since I don't need these right now, since I got a ton, could use the pure mana. Or, what was it? The, was the Ogre's Essence? Or did, was Ogre's Essence, was that C? I think it was C. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, C. So, my main one for C, what was it? That was these things, the, the Silver Stag Antler. there for now. Yeah, I got plenty of those, so I'll kind of hold off for now. Uh, hmm. Maybe the ectoplasm? Or maybe I'll do... I'll use the mana blaze on, on the blue one. Here. And then for the blue, I'll go with Fire Flower, Phoenix Tear, Dragon Tear. Oh, I got a new one that's definitely some of those then. And then for the E, uh oh, did I run out of? Okay, no, it's these things. I got 14. Might do this one, the Creeping Mildew, or we'll do this, the Dragon Egg Citrus. All right. I'm going to save one of those because I might put that in the garden tomorrow. I mean, this is, I will totally admit that this is one of those areas in the game where I might just be doing it completely wrong. I really don't know. I just kind of found something that kind of works for me. It's focusing more on the ingredients that give really high magmans in just one level and just kind of making those the ones I primarily farm. And that might just be a bad idea. I might be, I really have no idea. Um... Uh, Okay. So, custom orders. Oh, we turned both of them in. Wow. I think it's because, uh... Uh... Oof. Wait, how much am I getting for this? Is it worth it? 2,700. Uh, barely. You know what? When you add in the percentage, I don't think it is worth it. So maybe I'll do that one tomorrow with some, like, lower level ones. Yeah. Um, this one. We're ready on this one. Stamina. Speed. Oh, we gotta do the speed anyway. And mana. 608. 703. Nice. Yeah, they don't need to be grand level. Need 
these are potions I need for uh oh that's a new one okay that one's still one more let me put the new cauldron in I kind of forgot about that Nice. Okay. So let's take a look at the potions. Tolerance and speed. This is my lowest loan. I don't need to be grand level. We're not going to make a super good one. We're just going to make something very basic that just hits all the, checks all the boxes. Uh, speed and tolerance. Where's tolerance? It's an enhancer, right? Insight, dousing, seeking. No? Oh, it's an under potion. So, tolerance potion. Going for grand and need these three. Okay, nothing unfortunately has those, so we'll go with the ones with the lowest magman stick. Uh, that's right, because um, Roxanne. So everything should give it. Oh, these are just the ones that give it normally. Okay. I forget if Roxanne's thing carries over on in potions that you brew one day if they carry over to the next day, so I'm not going to worry about that. Sensation? And what was the other one? Smell? smell. Got more coming in the garden anyway. I'll just go ahead and use this. There we go. Grant. Add our fuel. I probably should have bought more. as much for this. Alright, so the other one from the order is speed. Okay, and it's the first three. Yep. Good taste. Nothing for sensation. Okay. And then we'll go lowest magmans to not throw off the balance too much. 
Yeah, these are really good for that. I should really, honestly, should get more. That's like the other type of ingredient I need to invest more in, is stuff that has low magmins but has good traits, because they won't throw off the recipe. Uh, no, I'm... Oh, that's right, because my best blue ones have negative traits. Uh, no. Uh, no. This is not going to be good. It'll be common, but that's not good enough. I need... Raider. Raider. So we'll give one additional star. That should put us in range. Good enough. is off, but that should give us just enough to put us over the edge. Alright, so final, final potion of the night. Um, hmm. Alright, so I'm sending Mint to the Arctic right now. I got the potions I need to, for the Dragon Oasis tomorrow. Maybe we can make some stuff for the the crater? I'm gonna need a shadow tonic for that one. That should push it over to the superior. I am I am beginning to learn more about the art of good enough. Okay. Perfect. Now, I could open the store if I want to. Stress is at 8%. I'm worried it'll get too high up, though. Increase value for cures, increasing customers. Might as well sell some of these. I'll keep the tolerance potions for now. Um, do I have a cure shelf? I don't think I do. Probably should have invested in one, honestly. Nope. Tonic potions, enhancers, but no cure. Okay. So, we'll put them on... This one has a 15%, so we'll put them here. Enhancer. I'll save one, in case I need to actually use it for something. So, the cures... Do I want to use this one, too? So other drowsiness cure. Probably, I'm going to use the poison and the mana. I don't know if I need alertness for anything right now. 
Uh, well, I'll save it because I, I want to put it on one of these spots. All right. Um, sight? What does sight do? Receive extra loot from any monster hazard, 50%. Okay, so maybe save that. Petrification? Uh, I think I need... Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll just throw that on there. I do need some of those for the the Dragon Oasis, but I got plenty right now. Uh, let's... Actually, let's add that new card Mint gave. Keep it simple. Raise interest by nine. Discard two random cards. If opener, discard only one. That could also really come in handy if you have a lot of stress cards, because you can play everything else first and then play Keep It Simple to discard your stress cards. Uh, keep your guard up. Craftsmanship, elevator pitch, scheme. Press the attack. For the most part, everything's pretty low level. Or low uh, in terms of cost by design, because I'm trying to maximize on Frosty the Squirrel. And it pairs well with Blitz, too. See, this is, this is the other problem I have with um, deck builders. I'm not, I'm really bad about picking things. I might do craftsmanship because it just doesn't really fit into my overall strategy. But it's low level and it does increase like the actual value. So I feel like that's really good in and of itself. Keep your guard up. I don't use super much, but I feel like I need some block cards. If anything, I feel like I don't have enough block cards. All right, I think craftsmanship is the least useful to like the strategy I'm going for. All right, let's open shop. I've emerged from the basement and I have a hunger for commerce. Yeah, dear, would you? Get used to this level of service. I'll admit, I'm curious about this one. Double stress received from all resources. The shield doesn't really do any good. Just end turn. Although I gotta be really careful about stress now. Now I really want a shield. Blitz! So we already got sympathy for two turns. Okay. So first off, Captivate. And Ferocity of the Squirrel. Press the attack first. Muscle Memory. So, keep it simple, and then we're just going to enter. We're going to take a hit on stress, unfortunately. I was really hoping to draw a block card there, but oh well. Alright, scheme. Or, er, uh, sorry, captivate. Press the attack. Yeah, I'm... Well, it does at least get us up to the next tier. Do I have negative traits? I don't even have negative traits. Honestly, I'm being better about having positive traits that Roxanne's closer card is actually becoming less and less useful. It was really good when I first got it because I would just basically just throw in any... Uh, a lot of my like really good ingredients had like uh, negative traits, so it was really, really useful for this. Don't discard sleight of hand. I don't want you to discard blitz either. 
Okay. Probably should have just gone for the closer there. Yeah, like, I really need another closer card. But I don't know who offers them, really. Okay. Sympathy bonus. Blitz. Press the attack. Muscle memory. Now, oh, keep it simple doesn't really do me any good. Alright, just close the deal. Keep it simple would have been awesome right there because it would have discarded doubt. give us enough to push it up to the next level and get the closing bonus, so I think that's just the right play. They're all grand, so that should be easy. Uh, come on. It's like when I need a block card, it doesn't give me any. And it's like when I don't need one, it's like they're just, they just get tons of them. Right. All right, cool. I actually got rid of one of the stress cards. Well, oh, this one, if in hand, end of turn increases stress by two. That's, well, I got a shield up, so that's fine. Discard, sleight of hand. Well, I would have liked if you just... Alright, just close it out. Still, we're making good money right now. Alright, more draw cards. Yeah, so I definitely need to get some new new closing cards. This one does have a negative trait, so. Um, hmm. Don't discard blitz. Thank you. For once, it actually discarded the card I wanted it to discard. All right, I don't know if I'll be able to get up to the next tier. Yeah, only got two patients. All right, hope for, hope for the closing card. Damn it! All right, close deal. I already got, we got over twenty thousand. Cash on hand. It's only greater. Yeah, screw it. Close it out. For that lower level potion, it's really not worth taking any extra stress for. cards.
Alright, just close it out. So we made a lot of good money there. That Robin has always rubbed me the wrong way. Rubbed me wrong. Rubbed me wrong? I never actually heard someone phrase that. Phrase it that way. It's usually rubbed me the wrong way. Odd. Increasing hero customers, increasing entertainer customers. We still got the Dragon Oasis. Yeah, so still got like, I mean, 18% stress. It's not the worst, but it just, at this point, it just seems like it's going to be kind of unavoidable that I'm going to be just taking extra stress. sure why I put that one in there. I think I just like, uh, yeah, sure, that one. Stamina, speed, mana. Nice. Well, what's the cheaper one? Definitely this one. And tolerance. And then I need superior level dousing and insight for Ruxan. Okay. So like I said though, I got a lot of cash on hand. 30,000, damn. I got the potions I need for the competition. I got plenty of cauldrons. I might just go to Saffron and just keep it expanding on the shop. That will help me get that early start on like the next, um, the next, I like, can't think all of a sudden. Just like the next round of 10 days. So I might do that just cause I have the money. like. I don't know if I necessarily want to upgrade my current cauldrons or shelves, though, from with Muktuk, because I think what I might want to do is also just kind of keep making money, and then once the we go into the next one, start buying those next level cauldrons and shelves, and then if I still have money left over after that, then we can use that to actually upgrade the, those ones. Because, I mean... We're already, like, we're getting close to the end. There's one more competition, and then there's, like, the next 10 day cycle. But yeah, so. You kind of got a game plan. I might have to tweak the deck a little bit. The Keep It Simple card is not working out as well for me. Like, obviously, like, I'm not very good at deck building. Like, I. It, I think it's kind of fun, but I'm not very good at it. I'm just trying to... Right now, I'm just trying to go with that strategy of using uh, Frosty of the Squirrel and just focusing more on low-cost cards. Um, and that's kind of what I thought. was like, okay, keep it simple works pretty well because it's a lot of interest for only, like, one cost. But... I don't know. Still, like, it's still proving difficult to get max interest. So maybe it's not even worth it. Maybe it, but no. I'm thinking aloud at this point. I'm going to have to end it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to be back with more very soon. Later. <laughs>